All right, what's going on YouTube? Cardcook2 coming at you here with another mail day video. I, uh, as you can see, it's got a couple different boxes here. Uh, a little hard to see, but um, it's only a couple different packages, but there's a, a couple different lots. So um, really just wanted to get into these here. I'll start with the lesser ones. We'll do the flat rate box last. It's just a little bit more challenging to open, but um, buying a lot here recently, so there should be some more coming in the mail in the coming days, but um, for now, we'll just uh, we'll start with the, the more recent ones. So I got this. This got listed the other day um, for like 55 bucks. I made a quick offer of like 40, just figured that was uh, what I would want to pay on it, and it got clicked, and I just, I think that's just too cheap for Haskins right now. That might be the market rate. I just, I think long term, uh, he's gonna get a shot and be decent. So, I uh, could be wrong, but for $40, I figured I was willing to give it a shot. Corner looks a little beat up, but it's honestly not that bad. At least it doesn't look that bad. Eh, they're a little white, but oh well. 40 bucks, and it's not going to be perfect. So, RPA from Origins out of 49. Pretty pretty cool looking patch auto. Uh, and this was actually from Facebook. I don't, I honestly don't buy a ton on Facebook. I do more Instagram uh, and eBay with a little bit of blowout or Twitter. Um, but a couple of things I buy on Facebook. Um, this was a lot from a guy that I buy a lot off on there. And then this was a lot I bought, I saw the other day. Um, I was buying Josh Jacobs stuff from the start, so it's mainly the reason I bought this lot, but uh, you got a Hunter Renfro uh, War Room jersey out of 130. You got a Josh Jacobs Kaboom. I'm a big fan of that set. I think these are always really, really good looking stuff, or really good looking cards. Just a real big fan of those. Uh, then you got a Josh Jacobs Absolute Auto, one of 35. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hunter Renfro Jersey Auto, that's from Absolute. Nice jumbo patch auto, 30 of 99. I think he could be decent this year, especially with moving Antonio Brown. Then you got another one of the War Room Jerseys of Renfro, that's also out of 130. And then a very nice Josh Jacobs Jumbo Jersey Auto out of 99. So, not bad. I think the total lot was like 95 bucks. And I think that's a steal. I mean, I think most of these, I mean... I think the three Josh Jacobs cards are probably going to do, you know, 40 bucks a piece. I haven't checked comps in a minute, but I would assume those are on average about 40 bucks a piece. So, a couple cards for free make 10, 15 bucks. So, did that. Um, and then this, I'm going to cut this off camera just because it's a little uh, harder to open in front of camera. And it's also got my address on it. Um, all right, so here we go. So, this is actually something I bought off... Um, Nice, she did send it to me just like I asked. Perfect, she's awesome. All right, so I, uh, I'm trying to get a little bit more organized at the shop and I saw uh, an account on Instagram that offered these um, and a lot of people had on there had recommended them. So it looks like just <laughs> uh, some stuff that washed up on the Florida shores a couple weeks ago during the hurricane. Just, um, but I assure you they are not uh, anything anything bad. But um, they are dividers. They are team set dividers, right? They are stickers um, with actual dividers. And I thought these would be pretty cool for me to like separate stuff at the shop. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I've got my uh, helper, Nick, um, who works with me a couple days a week, typically on the weekends. Um, started working on some stuff getting sorted and I, I just thought that these would be a good idea. Um, but yeah, Morgan, uh, does these there. Uh, she offers them in multiple sports. Uh, my understanding is basketball, football, baseball, and hockey, uh, as well as the NCAA football. My understanding is, is the NCAA football one's a bit more expensive. Um, I think these are 22 bucks, 25 bucks for a set. I think I could be off, um, I thought it was like, bought, if you bought six, you got the seven free, or buy seven, get the eighth free. Um, I don't remember, but it's off. Honestly, I've had these here for a couple days, and I just haven't got time to do the mail. Um, 
All right, so here's the second baseball and they look really good, right? I mean, they're just dividers. They go in like a four row box and like you can put cards in front of them behind them, obviously, um, and separate them. And I just think those are really, really smart. I'm gonna put these over there a little off camera. Um, I think these are just great ways because um, I have a lot of customers that come in and they're like, hey, you know, do you have any Aaron Rodgers cards or do you have any, you know, Francisco Lindor cards? And it's just, it's a good way to keep stuff separated. That way, if somebody else does something really good, like Lamar Jackson, for instance, the Ravens, like you can go in there and like look and say, hey, Lamar Jackson. Or if Mason Rudolph becomes a starter because Big Ben goes out for the year, hey, you know, you can go find your Pittsburgh Steelers stuff. You can find your Mason Rudolph. Or Rashad Penny does really well. You can go find his stuff. Or Haskins gets named the starter. So it's just, and that's a good way to just uh, get a little more organized for my customers at the shop. So I decided to give these a shot, and it looks like Morgan did a uh, wonderful job. So I ordered two sets, and real quick, I do want to plug Morgan. Here's this. Here's your email. MorganBell96 at gmail.com. Hobby card hits on Instagram. Little divider. Very cool. Very well done. So I just want to plug Morgan. There you go. I think these are great, but I think I have what two of you? Here's an NBA. So I'm a big fan of these. Even if you don't have a card store, these are great ways, great things to sort your collection with. I honestly might buy some more of these and sort them for my stuff at home. Because I think these are pretty cool. I mean, the dividers themselves for like a pack of 10 is like four bucks or something. So, I mean, you're really not paying that much for shipping and the stickers and the time to go into it. So, um, I just thought it, was, I thought it was a really good deal. And she was super easy to work with. So, I, uh, I'm really glad I ended up picking these up. Here's the hockey ones. I'm assuming this is any. So, um, Get this open real quick. You know my it is actually arm day for me at the gym, and I'm just scrawny as is, so probably not a surprise. I can't get that open. Um, but anyway, here's the hockey ones. Very cool. Very very well done. I'm a big fan of these. I mean, they they look really really good. CBJ. So I don't really have a ton of hockey stuff, but. Figured as I expand, it makes sense to have these. So, um, or there's one looks a little different. That's odd. Anyways, um, they look great. Complete sets: NBA, NHL, MLB, um, and NBA. So, there you go. So, like I said, I know she does some like player ones. They do the NCAA. They do a couple different ones. So, hit her up. Check her out. Uh, Morgan Bell Hobby Card Hits on Instagram. There's her email as well. So, thank you, Morgan for that and then last but not least is this huge lot um it's actually i'm actually just cutting it on the top but this was going to be a bigger lot and then one of the main cards uh, a little bit higher end in the deal uh ended up getting sold so i didn't get to buy everything i wish i would have but i was at the shop and by the time i ended up getting back to him uh, the main card had sold, but made me a deal on the rest of it. So I was like, honestly, I didn't really want the rest. I just wanted the main card. Like, I, I wanted the deal for the main card, but I was still willing to buy the rest. So, you know, notice I probably bought a deal off him before that I've opened another one now. Um, I think that's it. He packages very well. Um, so... Probably lots of shipping tape. Oh man. Oh. Alright. So this will be fun. Alright. So lots of NBA. I think it's NBA, MLB, and football. Um. I don't think there's any hockey in this lot this time. All right, let's start her off here. Melvin Fraser Optic. Some of this stuff will go to PSA. Kyrie Thomas. There's a nice Robert Parrish. That's a goal. That's 10 of 10. That's pretty nice. And a nice Robert Williams Silver. Always love picking up rookie color. Uh, Zayer Smith. Uh, Hyper. 
pretty cool. Vincent Edwards, Purdue guy. Uh, 6 to 25, that might be jersey number. Not 100% sure. Bruce Brown Hyper. Nice. Trey Young, that's, probably, that's, that's PSA. That's PSA. Uh, Costas Blue, that'll go to PSA. 199. Uh, and then Colin Sexton, uh, Red Wave. Or Ruby Wave. I know people call them different. But ready for basketball to start. I think basketball this year is going to be awesome with the NBA a lot more open. With like the Warriors broken up. It was kind of crazy that KD was bashing him like he was. He said he didn't feel like he ever belonged. Something like that. I saw that the other day. I thought that was kind of crazy. All right. Oh, some, some more here. Austin Bryant. That's at a 50. I don't know much about him. Very nice. Josh Allen out of 100. That, I thought for some reason his number was 53. I mean, that's 41, but maybe I'm crazy. Mark Andrews, definitely playing well for the Ravens. That's 6 and 99. Uh, Emmanuel Hall, Mizzou, out of 100. Uh, very cool. Travis Kelce out of 25. Oh, that's super cool. Ed Reed, NFL icons, 4 of 5 purple. That's super cool. Purple background, parallel, and like purple jersey. That's super cool. Randy, Randy Moss, straight cash, homie, out of 25. Very cool. Uh, they got a Brady Singer. Bowman Sterling Auto. The GOAT, Mike Trout, my dude, out of 50. Big fan of Trout. Big, big, big fan. I think he's just awesome. Cole Wynn out of 125. And then Trevor Richards out of 250. I don't know much about Trevor Richards, so you guys think he's good. Let me know, because I don't know much about him. All right. All right, so this appears to be some sort of book. Is this Hollywood? Oh, that'd be awesome if this is Hollywood. I don't remember. Patrick Mahomes. Yes, it is. What up? Hollywood Brown. Dude's balling. Lamar Jackson's been killing it. Lamar's, I'll be honest, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm, I've not been a big... Uh, Supporter of Lamar, but so far through the first couple weeks, he's uh, proved me wrong. So, has a big test this week against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. So, if they win that, they'll be, uh, they'd be doing pretty well. You do, Patrick Mahomes. I was watching some of the Raiders game last week. That dude, I was big on Mahomes. Again, if you followed me on Instagram, saw that I was, I made a post the other day, or actually earlier today, um, this video will probably be released later this week, but um, about all the Mahomes I used to have. I was so high on him, and he's great, but sold too early. But I watch him now, and he's just, he's awesome. Harry out of 25, that's cool. He's going to be hopefully back later this year for the Patriots. And you got Boykin, that's out of 249, and you got a Riley, really, that's out of 99. So, two RPAs. I don't believe any one of those two have done much yet, so... Curious to see if they uh, if either one of those two steps up. All right. All right. Next little stack. All right. Very cool. Alex Madison jumbo jersey auto out of ninety nine. Very cool. He had a nice catch the other day. DK Metcalf. RPA two color from Legacy. I like those patch autos this year. I think those are nice. Ooh, look at that patch. That is sick. Look at that. It looks like glove. Tools of the trade. Glove patch auto at a 25 of Calvin Ridley. Couple off his jersey. Now that's a sick, sick patch. I always love lots like this, especially when they come in. This lot came in a little later than expected. I honestly don't remember all what's in it, so it's kind of cool to like get it and see it as you. Uh, it's kind of like, oh yeah, I forgot that was in there. That's why I love buying random lots so much. It's always kind of fun to look at. All right, nice Sony Michelle. Jer looks like jersey sock glove. That's what it looks like. You got a Rowdy Telez. 
Tukey Toussaint. And a Hawkinson and Stafford. Hawkinson's been playing well. He's been balling for the Lions. 199. I saw like we ended up like last week, week one had a uh, like multiple wide receivers go for over 100 yards. It was like Hawkinson, Marquise Brown, AJ Brown, and someone else. But they said it's like the first time it's ever happened where four rookie wide receivers had 100 yards in the first game. Oops, dropped one. All right, Rondell White Expos Auto from uh, Archives this year. Very cool. Three-color ball, four-color Mike Williams patch auto, eight of 25. Oh, man, that's cool. For a dude that's been playing well, that's a good timing on that. TJ Hawkinson, RPA at a 199. Nice three-color. And then you got a Drew Locke at a 130 War Room jersey from Absolute. And 89 of 199, the Oklahoma Sooners quad jersey. So pretty cool. It's got Baker on it, Anderson, Andrews, and Hollywood. So it's a pretty cool card. I'm sure Oklahoma fans will definitely like that one. I know there's a Buckeye version of it as well. So all right. Almost done here. Just a couple left. If you guys wouldn't mind, this is a good time to mention it. Really appreciate you guys, uh, those that have followed me. I put that in the community tab the other day. Uh, I'm going to be doing the giveaway. Might be posted by this point, but um, really appreciate you guys for following along. Um, it's kind of taken off for me the last couple couple weeks, and I've really been trying to post more. So just want to say thanks for those that have, uh, that have followed me. Uh, Derek Henry Patch. Two of 25, dual patch, pretty nice. And then a ball. Uh, Cam Reddish at a 40 from the National Packs. A uh, Brandon Clark patch, cracked ice at a 25. Not sure how well he sells, but could be decent. Uh, Miles Gaskins, three color patch auto from NT Collegiate. And then AJ Brown and Corey Davis, nice three color, two color at a 49. AJ Brown looks solid. I always ended up, I, I'm telling you, when I watched college football last year, I thought he was a better receiver than DK Metcalf. Metcalf just gets a lot of attention because it was just pure physical size. Um, but A.J. Brown's a better wide receiver, in my opinion. I mean, if you watch DK Metcalf's cone drills, I mean, slower than Tom Brady should be a scary sight. So, but we'll see. Time will tell. All right, now this one's golden. I don't know if that's any more special or not, but uh, is it Tim Wallach? I don't know much about him. Not much of a baseball guy. Riley Ridley and Mitch Trubisky, dual jersey, 199 A Cedric Mullins purple auto at a 50. Oh, that's cool. Max Muncy, he's, he's good. Uh, Max Muncy auto at a 50 for the Dodgers. So some baseball and a, another absolute card. And then last but not least to wrap this one up. Let's see what we got. Cool to end it. Uh, Mike Sweeney auto. A Derrick Henry uh, undeniable jersey card. Oh, very cool. That's super cool. I didn't know that was in there. I totally forgot about this. DK Metcalf three color patch auto out of 199 from certified. Nice Corey Davis. This will match the Derrick Henry dual patch. They're the exact same basically. And then a Stefan Diggs jersey out of 299. So, um, yeah, very cool, man. A huge lot. Um, some dividers from Morgan. Hobby card hits on Instagram. A Raiders lot. And just, again, just some random stuff. So, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. But as always, that's all I got. Peace.